Greetings, critical viewers, and welcome to my playthrough of It Moves. It's an RPG Maker horror game. It's free, and there's a download link in the description. I hear it's pretty scary, so I figured I would play it. And without further ado, let's get into it. I like it already because of the menu. Looks nice. It'll also be the thumbnail. Alright. Bedtime. Bedtime is supposed to be a happy event for a tired child. For me, it was terrifying. While well, some children might complain about being put to bed before they have finished watching a film or playing their favorite video game. When I was a child, nighttime was something to truly fear. Somewhere in the back of my mind, it still is. This is me. Hi, everybody. Oh, a wolf! It's a wolf. Thank you for stating the obvious. Full of toys and stuff. Poster from a movie. I got it from my brother. What movie is it, pray tell? I don't recognize that image. Mr. Teddy. Why? Do you not have a nightstand, dude? Putting your lamp on the floor? No, no, no. I'm talking about the lamp. I want to know about the lamp. Okay, whatever. It's a bunk bed. I sleep in the top. You sleep in the top, eh? A table. Alright, we're not getting anything out of this guy. Let's get out of here. As someone who is trained in the sciences, I cannot prove that what happened to me was objectively real. But I can swear that what I experienced was genuine horror. A fear which in my life, I'm glad to say, has never been equaled. I will relate it to you all now as best I can. Make of it what you will but I'll be glad to just get it off my chest. Oh. Hello there, sir. This is my father. Oh, he doesn't move or say anything. Flowers, mom put these here. Oh, this is my brother's room. He told me yesterday to keep out of the room that we both had shared until then. Eh. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? It's locked, stupid bro. <laughs> uh, okay. Unrealistic dialogue. I can't remember exactly when it started, but my apprehension towards falling asleep seemed to correspond with my being moved into a room of my own. Hmm. Is this your mother? This is my mother. Thank you for all the information. A man with a mustache. Really? Just a bunch of clothes in here. Ventilation. I think mom said this is. Oh. Ventilation, I think mom said this is. Strangely structured sentence. Mom told me not to touch her stuff. Especially this stuff. Ugh, what is it? Nothing too interesting. Wow, this house is full of uninteresting things. I was eight years old at the time, and until then I had shared a room quite happily with my older brother. As is perfectly understandable for a boy five years my senior, my brother eventually wished for a room of his own, and as a result, I was given the room at the back of the house. As my brother was given a new bed, I was given the bunk beds which we used to share. While I was upset about sleeping on my own, I was excited at the thought of being able to sleep in the top bunk, which seemed far more adventurous to me. Hmm. How come your father's blocking everything? I wanna... okay. Anything back here? Ooh! He's moving on his own, by the way. All right, it's bedtime. Already? Yes, adults need their sleep, you see. You'll be sleeping alone for the first time. You excited? Yes, Mom. No kid is excited about going to sleep. All right, I'm turning off the lights. Good night. Good night. Save? Yes? What is... Uh, what? What are you? 
Oh, I thought you were on the ground, but you're in the tree. You weirdo. Oh, this is like some where the wild things are shit over here. Okay. Let's uh go into this. What is that thing on top of the roof? I don't like that. I don't like where this is going. How do you go? Oh. Hi. Hmm. Oh, perfect. Hooray! A pot and some ragged cloth. I wonder what's cooking. Probably nothing good. Probably people. That's my first guess, is people. It's always people. Oh! Hi there! Stalking is such a strong word. I prefer to think of it more as intense research on one individual. By the way, your missing sock is under your bed. With me. Just kidding. Ah. Uh, a cold and welcome breeze comes from the bottom of the stairs. Well, we're obviously going down. Oh. Okay. Hi. Weird mushroom. Looks poisonous. Let's avoid it then. Let's not do that. Oh. What? Oh, that one looks poisonous too. Let's avoid it. Hello. A purple mushroom. Definitely poisonous. Great! Uh, what the hell was that? There's a red liquid seeping out from the mushroom hat. That's nice. Oh, more caves. Perfect! Okay. Do we go this way? There seems to be something glittering over here. What is it? The, uh, this is, okay, I guess it's just the walls. They're just shiny walls, that's all. Hey, it's you! Hey! You said something about my sock. Do you have my sock, sir? Oh. A puzzle. I can't see the results. Hmm. Oh, I see. So what does this one do? Hey. Oh, I got it. No. Oh, I did do it. Wow, that was easy. Mm-hmm. Okay. This way, some more. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Mm. Huh. Wonder what his deal is. Eh. Are there any items we can collect in here? I like items. There's no inventory though, so I guess not. Okay. 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 All right. I don't like this. Oh! Well, it definitely did move. The title is accurate. Mom, I had a bad dream. Mom. Mom, where'd you go? I had a bad dream. Aren't you supposed to cater to my every whim? You're still asleep. Mom, I had a bad dream. Sweetie, what's wrong? I had a bad dream. Are you deaf? Aw, oh, that's too bad, sweetie. I'll be up in a minute. We can eat breakfast together. All right, hurry up. Jeez, kid. Go change your clothes and I'll be right there. No, I don't want to change my clothes. I want to go back in there. No need to go here right now. Ugh. Why not? What's in that room? You just can't go in there because it would be bad for the plot. We need you to not go in there right now. 
And so another day started. It was a day of little importance to our story. <laughs> I won't bother you with details. The one thing I remember is that even though I played with friends like I always did, I somehow still felt lonely. I didn't enter my new room until later that night. It was time to go to sleep again. Whoa. Well, thank you for the arrow. Just in case I'm too much of a dumbass to figure out I need to go to sleep now. Um. Whoa. Why don't I can still move around? Weird. I wonder if it affects the gameplay, like what side you choose to sleep on. What side do you guys sleep on? Because I sleep on my left side. Or, usually. It has to be a side. Usually my left side or my right side. What? Oh, a winky face! He wants to pray with me! He's sad here. He's happy here. Oh, that one works. I see. So we gotta press them in a certain order. Happy, sad. Okay, okay. I'm gonna say happy. Sorta of happy. Nope. Okay, he's more sad there than he is here. It's just a little frown. So I guess it's like a steady progression of happy to sad. There we go. Does this open all of them? Oh my god. Oh my god, we can go anywhere. We can go anywhere now. A wanted poster. Well, who's on it? I'd like to know who's on it. Ventilation, maybe? The air is still stuffy, though. Ah, uh, this sucks. This... This really sucks. There's somebody in here with me. I don't like it. What? That looked like a face to me. A poster for some concert. It looks old. Ah, uh, the face is still there. I don't know if that's supposed to happen, but I'm not... Not okay with it. Okay, cool. I have wait. I saw something go this way. I thought I did anyway. Ooh What's this? A poster for some concert it looks old. It certainly does. It's black and white Okay What am I looking for? Looking for more of those red things You can move around really fast in this game. I like that And a corp. Oh, <gasps> what was that thing? And a corp, what's that? What the hell is that thing? Is it a... Okay. Can it get me? It keeps moving! I don't like it! I don't like this! Oh no! Is that thing dangerous? Ooh! Okay! This was funny at first, not funny anymore. I found another one. Yep, they are moving around. Shit! Okay. Nothing of interest, I think. What do you mean, nothing of interest? Is there one more? What's this? Looks like a fan. A funny looking fan. Oh no, 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 no. Where's the last one? Oh fuck. I don't like this. Hey! Hmm. When you awaken from a deep sleep to something moving or stirring, it can take a few moments for you to truly understand what is happening. The fog of sleep hangs over your eyes and ears, even when lucid. Something was moving. There was no doubt about that. At first, I wasn't sure what it was. Everything was dark, almost pitch black, but there was enough light creeping in from outside to outline that room. Two thoughts appeared in my mind almost simultaneously. The first was that my parents were in bed because the rest of the house lay both in darkness and silence. The second thought turned to the noise, a noise which had obviously woken me. That was it. Bed sheets rustling in the dark and someone breathing. As if someone disturbed sleeper was attempting to get all too comfortable in the bottom bunk. I lay there in disbelief, thinking that the noise was either my imagination, or perhaps just my pet cat finding somewhere comfortable to spend the night. It was then that I noticed my door shut, 
as it had been as I'd fallen asleep. Perhaps my mom had checked in on me and the cat had sneaked into the room then. Yes, that must have been it. I turned to face the wall, closing my eyes in the vain hope that I could fall back to sleep. As I moved, the rustling noise from underneath me ceased. I thought that I must have disturbed my cat, but quickly I realized that the visitor in the bottom bunk was much less mundane than my pet trying to sleep, and much more sinister. As if alerted to and disgruntled by my presence, the disturbed sleeper began to toss and turn violently, like a child having a tantrum in their bed. I could hear the sheets twist and turn with increasing ferocity. Fear then gripped me, not like the subtle sense of unease I had experienced earlier, but now potent and terrifying. My heart raced as my eyes panicked. Scanning the almost impenetrable darkness, I let out a cry. As most young boys do, I instinctively shouted out my mother. I could hear something stir on the other side of the house. But as I began to breathe a sigh of relief that my parents were coming to save me, the bunk beds suddenly started to shake violently as if griffed by an earthquake, scraping against the wall. I could hear the sheets below me thrashing as if tormented by malice. I did not want to jump down to safety as I feared the thing in the bottom bunk would reach out and grab me, pulling me into the darkness, so I stayed there, white knuckles clenching my own blanket like a shroud of protection. The wait seemed like an eternity. What's wrong? Did you have a bad dream? I cried and my mother consoled me. Tears of fear followed by relief streamed down my face. Yet, through all the horror and relief, I did not tell her why I was so upset. I cannot explain it, but it was as though whatever had been that bunk would return if I even so much as spoke of it. Whether that was the truth, I do not know, but as a child, I felt as if that unseen menace remained close, listening. My mother lay in the empty bunk, promising to stay there until morning. I remember the next day wanting to go anywhere, be anywhere, but in that suffocating room. It was a Saturday and I played outside, quite happily with my friends. Although our house was not large, we were lucky to have a long sloping garden in the back. We played there often, as much as it was overgrown and we could hide in the bushes. Climb in the huge sycamore tree which towered over everyone else and easily imagine ourselves in the throes of a grand adventure. As fun as it all was, occasionally my eye would turn to that small window in my room. Ordinary, slight, and innocuous. But for me, that thin boundary was a looking glass into a strange cold pocket, uh, pocket of dread. Outside, the lush green surroundings of our garden filled with the smiling faces of my friends. Inside, the feeling of something in that room, watching me play, waiting for the night when I would be alone, eagerly filled with hate. It may sound strange to you, but by the time my parents ushered me back into that room for the night, I said nothing. I didn't protest. I didn't even make an excuse as to why I couldn't sleep there. I still felt that this thing would be enraged if I so much as spoke of it. Another night came. Save? Yes? File 3, thanks. Oh, perfect! This place looks really friendly. I don't know how I got here. Here, look. What, what, what's the tooltip? A huge skull. Great. Man, why even bother writing those if they're not going to be insightful? Okay! Alright. So things are getting worse. Um, do I just keep going to the right? Is there something I'm supposed to do in this, uh, this room? A banner on a long pole. It's too old and torn out to make details. Torn to make out details, rather. I don't, is there anything I do in here? It seems like I should, right? I don't... Oh. You were supposed to just keep going right. Because it gets darker. Strange. Usually in video games when you do the same thing and get the same result, you're supposed to do something differently. I guess not here. 
Okay. Okay. Oh, perfect. Okay, ritual sacrifice altar. Awesome. Oh, another maze. Awesome. Um, can't go in there yet. That's probably a good thing. Can't go. Oh, can't go in there yet either. Another fan. What's with the fan symbolism? Maybe I'm giving this game too much credit with the symbolism. I'm not sure. Okay. Um. Keep going. Hmm. What's this? Uh, this is like a weird little chamber. Are you gonna tell me what's on the walls? Hmm. Well, this is. Hello? What do you mean, hello? What does that do? What is, what is that supposed to mean? Am I supposed to press this one too? This one doesn't work yet. What's the difference between these two? How come this one does a thing and this one doesn't? That's really weird. Also, what happened when I pressed that switch? Okay, I guess we'll find out. I mean, I moved it over this way, so maybe it did something over here? Uh, is it just me or is it darker down here? Oh. Those uh, iron bars are up. Well, hello there! Someone looks like they're crying blood. That's what it looks like. I guess it just, maybe it just moves these iron bars, right? Yeah, here they are again. Huh. It'd be nice if there was some clue as to uh, what I'm supposed to do, where I'm supposed to go with this. Can't go that way. Okay, there's something in there. I, I guess I'm just trying to... Okay! Great! Glad we could have that moment. That was a very special moment. Are... Are... Are you? How... How are you? Well, I'm doing pretty well. Thanks for asking. I mean, it's a Saturday afternoon. And, um... Wow, that one doesn't... Work. Oh my god, I don't... Oh! You can go down here. Doesn't really make a difference, though. Uh, I'm doing alright, although my neighbors are playing music very loudly, and I apologize if you can hear it. I really have no control over the situation. <laughs> I mean, I could take a broom handle and fucking, you know, push it against the ceiling and be all obnoxious about it, but I don't think that they're gonna budge on the issue. How do you move these? Okay, the only thing I've found is that one switch. There are no other switches, right? I haven't seen any. Um, that there's a switch in there. There's a switch down there too, but I can't get those open. How do I get those open? This one doesn't have one. Okay. Can't turn that off. So I can. Nope, I can't unswitch it. So what's the deal? What's the deal here? I can't... Mmm. JK. So, uh, yeah, talking about my neighbors, apparently they've never heard of headphones. Uh, I've no idea. I mean, they're a great invention, really. Oh, there's one right there. I kind of missed that. I'm an idiot. Well, even though I, I don't even know why I bother saying I'm an idiot. I, I, I always say it so I can avoid hearing negative comments. But they happen anyway, so... <laughs> ah! I was hoping that those would open. But the, yeah, the comments happen anyway, so it's just like... I'm just getting like a double whammy, you know? I'm getting insulted once by myself and I'm getting insulted again. So I don't know why I do that. Okay, so I'm glad we can hit all these switches. I finally figured it out. Oh my god. Come on. This one over here. That doesn't do anything. This. You. Yes! I did it! Get it! What? No! Stop it! That's very... 
distracting. Is that does that indicate danger? Am I in danger? I do not. Nope. Not cool. Thanks for that little se sequence there. Okay. Well, we won't go in there yet. We'll give you a break. Is that was that like a time sequence? Okay, where where are the rest of the switches? Because clearly I'm missing one that's that would open up all the others, right? Oh my goodness! Maybe no, I, that that was the first one I did. Holy crap! And then this one doesn't have any. Damn it! Hmm. Yeah, so, back to my neighbors. Apparently they like making music. There we go. Oh, no! I don't like this. Stop that. Apparently they like making music because I hear the same loops over and over and over again. I can only assume that they're constructing something in Fruity Loops or whatever else. I don't know. Whatever they use to make money. Or, not money. Ha! <laughs> they don't make any money from this, I'm sure. Music. And they have, they play it, just, it just loops over and over. That's the worst part about it. Not even, it's not, it's not even like a different song. It's just the same loop. That's it. That's it. Over and over and fucking over again. Oh, hi. Hi there, bloody pile of skulls. Glad we could freaking do this. Okay, bye. Uh, you are weird. Good thing you can't hurt me. So yeah, whenever it, it sucks, because like when I record on the weekends, I have to wait till they're done, or I have to fucking oh here we go. Actually, there's no alternative. I don't know why I said or I have to. There's no alternative. Oh here, what's that? Okay, I'm glad that we can hit all of these switches. This is great. Um, I see that there is one at the bottom as well. I assume that that is the last one. That is the last one I know of. Nope. Nope, it's not. How is it not the last one? The hell? Wait, where's the... Is it this one down here? No, I already, I already did that one. So where's... This one. There we go. Wow, there's a lot of switches. All day and night. Dirt, 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 dirt. Somebody needs to tell them that their music sucks. Not me, though. Okay, hi. I'm glad that that happened. What do we do now? Do I press the other generator? Do I go back to the thing? <gasps> Hi! I'm glad you were waiting for me. Uh, <laughs> I had a welcoming party. End of demo? This was the demo? I didn't realize this was a demo! That's the... Oh, I thought this was the full game! Well, damn, I guess we'll find out what the f full game is like another time. That was unexpected, I thought I was playing a... Uh... Well, damn it, that left it off on a cliffhanger. Sorry guys, well, I'll be sure to put demo in the title. <laughs> so that you guys know, at least. Alright, well, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like it, and I will see y'all later. Think critically.